Hey there, Improv Tips, and welcome back to Improv Tips, where I and some of the best improvisers in the world give you improv tips and advice to make you a better, more confident, and happier improviser wherever you are in your improv journey. I am, as always, your host, Paul Valencourt. Let's begin. Today, I want to talk about relationship, and specifically, I want to talk about relationship as a transaction and what is the currency of that transaction, okay? So I talk about relationship, ding, ding, in this video, and I'll talk about the where, ding, ding, in this video, and I talk about game of the scene, ding, ding, in this video. These are all important because they set the stage for terminology and how I'm going to be approaching this idea. So when I'm teaching students, I'm always uh, trying to urge them towards putting the relationship at the center of the scene. It's not about this or that or this or that. It's always about what's happening between the two of us, right? Between me and my partner right now in this moment as the audience watches, right? Always relationship, relationship, relationship. I urge this consistently. The second thing I always urge is use the where. Use the where. Make us make us be somewhere rather than just in this white void, this, this black box, this void of space. Like we are somewhere, right? Where is it? And how does that affect the scene and who we are to each other and how we transact that? A lot of times students have a hard time sort of figuring out, well, how do I do I do the relationship or do I do the where? Or if I'm doing one, I'm sacrificing the other, so and so and so. And that's not true because these two things work together. These two things work together. The relationship and the where work together because, and here's the title of the video, because the relationship is like a transaction and the object work or the activity is the currency, right? So we're trying to back and forth sort of show how we feel about each other or build that relationship between us, right? And the way we do that is by one, by talking. This is a very common way. Say things about your partner. I've said this in a million videos. I can't even point to the videos I've said because it's so many. And the second way is by working with them or showing your game or your character's big thing or revealing their character's big thing through activity. So if I'm lazy and my partner and I are working together, right? If I'm lazy, my partner's really diligent, let's say very simple, right? I'm not going to not do the work. I'm going to do the work like a lazy person does the work. <sighs> okay, and then this, and it's time for a break yet. Ah, oh, this, and then this. whatever that thing might be, right? And they're going to be really dun 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 really diligent about the work, right? And that shows something about them. It shows something about me. And it's definitely going to show something about us, what's happening between the two of us, right? It allows us to, to, to do our relationship rather than just say our relationship. And the things that we do a lot of times hold more weight with the audience than the things that we say. Secondly, if I am uh, playing my relationship with my partner and I have a feeling, I can say that feeling, oh, I'm so angry. Or I can play that feeling. I can just be like, oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. What? And it allows me to play subtext, right? Where I'm saying one thing, but I'm showing you something else. Ding, ding, this video is about subtext. So in the relationship, we can talk back and forth and we can also show back and forth how we feel about each other. I can show who I am. You can show who you are. We can show how we relate to each other because a relationship isn't a static thing like father-daughter. It's how that father and daughter relate to each other. You know couples, tons of couples, and they all relate to each other differently. Those are their relationships. It's how they do that relationship, right? Because maybe one is like super uh, super generous. It's always giving gifts. And the other one's like, oh, why are you always doing that? It just kind of embarrasses me that you are so, you know, it's kind of like you're trying to buy people's friendship. I am, I am, whatever that thing might be, right? But then we get to see those actions, ding, ding, like in this video here, Brian Palermo talks about how action generates, right? And how action creates. And that's what, and that's where all these things do. And what it specifically should be creating, what it specifically should be pointed at is creating and showing relationships. Okay, so try that out in your work. When you are trying to build your relationship with your partner, show who you are and give them opportunities to show who they are by the things that we're doing in the scene, right? If we're unpacking groceries or at the grocery store or if we're washing a car, we all we do that through the lens of our character, right? We're not just like it's not it's never about that. I mean, it's never about washing the car. My favorite saying about this is from Mark Sutton. No one ever lives in, leaves an improv show saying, man, they really fixed that bike because it's not about fixing the bike. It's about what we get to show about ourselves and our relationship while we're fixing that bike. Okay. If you like this tip, consider commenting and leaving a like down below and subscribing so you get the improv tips as they come out. Uh, that's today's tip. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. 
Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.